Okay. Hello, guys. Hi, Juan Carlos. Hello. Hi, guys. Hi, teacher. Hello, Marco. Good evening. Hi. Hello, good evening. Hello, Carlita. Hi, Carlos Alberto. Hello, Carlita. Okay. Nice. Okay, guys, we're going to start with our session. Hello, Saul, welcome. Good night, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Good night. Evening. 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 Okay, uh, welcome, guys. Uh, in today's lesson, we're going to be checking some... Um, so, well, the last two topics that we have and um, our lesson objective is um, at the end of this class, you learn adjectives for describing personality traits. Let me see. Um, we're going to start checking our platform and then we continue with something else. Let's see. So let me know if you have any problem with the audio, okay? So I'm gonna try using this since so I had some problem problems before, but let's see. Mm, okay, so it's not charging. So let's wait some seconds, maybe. Oh, easily. Okay. I don't know what's the matter with. Hello, which of these adjectives are positive? Which are negative? Listen, repeat, and decide. Listen and repeat. Bad-tempered, creative, critical, disorganized, efficient, forgetful, generous, hardworking, impatient, level-headed, Moody, punctual, reliable, strict. Now get ready to listen to four conversations. Then check the adjective that best describes each person. Okay, before doing so, we're going to listen to the adjectives once more. This is about personality traits. After that, we're going to be listening to the four conversations. Hello, which of these adjectives are positive? Which are negative? Listen, repeat, and decide. Listen and repeat. Bad-tempered, creative, critical, disorganized, efficient, forgetful, generous, hardworking, impatient, level-headed, moody, punctual, reliable, strict. Now get ready to listen to four conversations. Then check the adjective that best describes each person. Listen to... Okay, so before continuing that, um, I don't know, guys, if you have uh, any question about this, but right now we're going to try to uh, classify these adjectives into positive or negative. For example, we have to write P or N next to each word. So do you know any people with these personality traits? Bad temper, disorganized, and we don't have more pictures. But creative, critical, disorganized, disorganized, efficient, forgetful, generous, hardworking, impatient, level-headed, moody, punctual, reliable, or strict. Again, bad-tempered, 
creative, critical, disorganized, efficient, forgetful, generous, hardworking, impatient, level-headed, moody, punctual, reliable, and strict. So what do you think about these adjectives? Which are positive, which are negative? Oh, yeah, or neutral. Well, I'll say negative. Positive or negative? Creative, it's that positive or negative? Positive. Okay, Criti positive. critical. Negative. Do you think so? Critical? Any other idea, guys? What do you think? Critical. Negative. Negative. Marco, what do you think, Marco? Okay, critical. I yeah. think he's negative. Negative. Um. Well. I, was, I wouldn't say so, right? Since you can say, let's say something, right? Being objective, I'll say, you say another adjective. But yeah, it could be, it could be negative, yeah. Disorganized. Negative. Negative indeed, right? Efficient, efficient. Positive. 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 forgetful. Positive. Negative. Yeah, negative. Generous. Positive. Positive. Okay. Hardworking. Positive. Impatient. Positive. Negative. Negative. No, negative. Level negative. headed. Negative. Negative. What do you think? What is level headed? Malumorado. Mm, level headed. No, level headed yeah. is something else. It's something different. Like. Mm, let's say. Uh, well, the, nivelado. Sensato. Como relajado, Sensato. Ah. Alguien sensato, level headed, juicioso. <laughs> okay, so we don't, I don't commonly use that word. Okay, so that's positive, right? Moody? Yeah. Moody? What's moody? Moody is. Malumorado. Negative. 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 Reliable. Positive. Yeah, positive. Strict. Positive. 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 Okay. Positive. Okay, guys, do you know any people with these personality traits? Do you know someone from work? Is there anybody who is a uh, bad temper, creative, critical? For example, talk to me about your boss. My boss is, for example, punctual. How about your boss? How is your boss? Saul? So how is your boss? My boss is so strict. Okay, he, so he strict. Was in, uh... Military forces, so or oh, oh, yeah, that's a, why discipline. He's disciplined. Okay, um, yeah, Marco, how's your uh, boss? How about you, Marco? Well, I think she's very efficient. Mm -hmm. And you see, and hardworking. And hardworking. Okay. Fishing and hardworking. Um, let me see who else is here. Maybe how about you, Claudia? What do you think about your boss? So how is he or my, she? My boss is Moody. Moody, okay. Okay, so you're honest. That's good. Juan Carlos, how about you, Juan Carlos? 
cubillas son maravilla. Mm, ok. Can you repeat it? Um, Juan Carlos, I couldn't hear it very clearly. I'm having some troubles. Juan Carlos, how is your boss? My boss is strict. Okay. Strict. Okay. Uh, Isabel, how about you, Isabel? Um, I don't have boss, but I have a teacher. Oh, okay. uh, and my teacher is a streak and I have bad temper. Mm, you or he or she? Uh, he. <laughs> he. He's bad tempered. Oh, okay. He's bad tempered. Okay, and straight. Okay, got it. Let's see. So let's continue. Uh, let me see. Now we're going to continue with the second part, which is a listening activity. Right now, we're going to be listening to four conversations about these people. We're going to check the adjective that best describes each person. Okay. For example, a boss, creative, forgetful, serious. Number two, a co-worker, unfriendly, generous, strange. Three, a teacher. Moody, in, okay, patient and hardworking. And number four, a relative, bad temper, disorganized and reliable. So you have to select the one that best represents or best describes each of these person. Uh, yeah, okay. Then check the adjective that best describes each person. Listen to four conversations. Then check the adjective that best describes each person. One, a boss. How do you like your new boss? She's okay. I just wish she'd learn to lighten up a little. What do you mean? Oh, she never enjoys a joke. She never laughs. It's hard to even get a smile out of her. Two, a coworker. Look what Mary gave me. Isn't this a great book? Yeah, it is. Mary's so sweet. She's always giving her friends and co-workers presents. I wish there were more people like her in this world. Three, a teacher. What do you think of the new French teacher? Well, she's kind of strange. She's in a good mood one minute and in a terrible mood the next. Four, a relative. Hey, what's wrong? I'm fed up with my brother. It seems as if he's always angry at me about something. Really? Yeah, he gets upset so easily. I don't know what's the matter with him. Okay, so we're gonna listen to that a second time and then you tell me, okay? Adjective that best describes each person. One, a boss. How do you like your new boss? She's okay. I just wish she'd learn to lighten up a little. What do you mean? Oh, she never enjoys a joke. She never laughs. It's hard to even get a smile out of her. Two, a coworker. Look what Mary gave me. Isn't this a great book? Yeah, it is. Mary's so sweet. She's always giving her friends and coworkers presents. I wish there were more people like her in this world. Three, a teacher. What do you think of the new French teacher? Well, she's kind of strange. She's in a good mood one minute and in a terrible mood the next. Four, a relative. Hey, what's wrong? I'm fed up with my brother. It seems as if he's always angry at me about something. Really? Yeah, he gets upset so easily. I don't know what's the matter with him. Okay, so what do you think about each of these uh, people? The boss, number one, what do you think? Creative, forgetful, or serious? Serious. Mm -hmm. Serious, I will think serious. 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 Yeah. serious. serious. Okay, got it. A co-worker. 
General. General. Generous. Okay. Generous. Uh, teacher. Moody. 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 Oh, okay. Uh, that's not good. <laughs> I'm always looking. <laughs> okay. Uh, for a relative. It's what do you think? Temper. And the rest? What temper I think? What tempered? Uh, Claudia, Isabo, uh, Marco, Carlos, Carlita, what do you think? A relative. Bad tempered. Bad tempered. And the rest? Marco, what do you have for that one? Bad temper. Bad temper. Okay, good. Okay, so now we will continue with the conversation. We have um conversation between Tim and Brenda, and we're gonna practice that. Okay, let's see. I don't know what classes or what classes to take this semester. I can't decide what I want to do with my life. Have you thought about it, Brenda? Yes, I have. I think I'll make a good journalist because I love writing. Maybe I could be a teacher because I'm very creative. And I like working with kids. Oh, I wouldn't want to be a teacher. I'm too impatient. I know one thing I could never do. Uh, what's that? I could never be a stockbroker because I'm not good at making decisions quickly. What's a stockbroker, guys? Stockbroker. Stockbroker. What is it? Stockbroker, what is it? Any idea? Yeah, you guys, stockbroker. Saul, what do you see? Stockbroker? No. Okay, let's see. We have another opinion. Yeah. Corredor de bolsa. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, corredor de bolsa. Yeah. Uh, well, when you work as that, you have to be quickly, right? Maybe, Marco, you're good at well, <laughs> making decisions, <laughs> but you don't have to take too much time. <laughs> okay. Uh, I was thinking about what you mentioned yesterday that it took like a year to take a, one decision, well, one of the biggest decisions that you have uh, ever made. Okay, let's see. Uh-huh. Yeah, Mark? Uh, yes. Yeah. 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 Do you think that you could yes. be a good stockbroker? Uh, no. No. Okay. Uh, Okay, so let's see. Uh, let's practice a conversation again. Um, and then you start practicing. I don't know what classes to take this semester. I can't decide what to do with my life. Haven't you thought about it, Brenda? Yes, I have. I think I'll make a good journalist. I love writing. Maybe I could be a teacher because I'm very creative and I like working with kids. Oh, I wouldn't want to be a teacher. I'm too impatient. I know one thing I could never do. What's that? I could be as uh, I could never be a stockbroker because I'm not good at making decisions quickly. Let's see. Um, volunteers. First two volunteers. Okay, we have Saul and Carlos. Carlos, Carlos Alberto. Okay. I think. Okay. Okay, I don't know what what class to take. I don't know what I want to to the white to the book my time. About is Brenda. 
Yes, I have. I think I made a good journalist because I love writing. Maybe I could be a teacher because I'm very creative and that work is good. Oh, I wouldn't want to be a teacher. I'm too impatient. I know what I could never do. That's, oh, what's that? Uh, I could never uh, travel because I'm not good at writing the future book. Okay, thanks, uh, boys. Let's see Claudia and Esmeralda. Claudia, Esmeralda, please. Okay, Claudia, uh, Esmeralda, are you here? Esmeralda Martinez? Yes, okay. I am here. Okay, uh, start, please, ladies. Uh, yo sería team. Okay, that's perfect. Okay, I don't, I don't know what class to take this sem semester. I, I can decide what I do with my life. Have, have you thought about it, Brenda? Yes, I have. I think I made a good journal this because I love read writing. Maybe I could be a teacher because I'm very creative and I like working with kids. Oh, I wouldn't want to be a teacher and too impatient. I know one thing I could never do. What's that? I could never be a stockbroker because I'm not good at making decisions quickly. Okay, thanks a lot, ladies. Okay, look at this. Um, This semester, okay. I don't know what classes to take this semester. This, this, this semester, this, this. I don't know what classes to take this semester. I can't, I can't, I can't decide what I want to do with my life. Have you thought about it, Brenda? Yes, I have. I think I'll make a good journalist because I love writing. Maybe I could be a teacher because I'm very creative. I'm very creative, creative. And I like working with kids, kids, kids. And I like working with kids, kids. Oh, I wouldn't want to be a teacher. I'm too impatient. I'm too impatient. I know one thing. I know one thing I could never do. What's that? I could never be a stockbroker because I'm not good at making decisions quickly. Okay, let's see. Uh, next two volunteers are Fernando. You hear Fernando and Irma? Yeah. Okay, guys, please start. You can start, Fernando. Okay. Um... I don't know what class to take this semester. I can't decide what I want to do with my life. Have you thought about it, Brenda? Yes, I have. I think I make a good journalist because I love writing. Maybe I could be a teacher because I'm very creative. I And I like working with kids. Oh, I could want to be a teacher. I am too impatient. I know one thing I could never do. What's that? I could never be a stockbroker because I'm not good at making decisions quickly. Okay, thanks a lot, guys. It was so good. Uh, Isabo? Juan Carlos? Um, um, I am Brenda. Okay.
Okay, let's see. Um, okay, Isao. Si quieres que hay dos Juan Carlos, cuando dice Juan Carlos, no sé si se refiere a, a Cubillas o a mí. Oh, yeah. Uh, you're the one that is always answered. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, you, Juan Carlos, maravilla. And Isabo, I don't know if Isabo is uh, here. Isabo? Yes, teacher. Oh, okay, Isabo. Okay, and Juan Carlos, maravilla. You can start, guys. I, I will be thinking. Okay, start, Juan Carlos. I don't know what class to take this semester. I can decide what I want to, to do with my life. How do you know about this band? Yes, I have. I think I'd make a good journalist because I love writing. Maybe I could be a teacher because I very creative. Uh, and I like working with kids. Oh, I wouldn't want to be a teacher. I'm too impatient. I know one thing I could never do. What's that? I could never be a star broker because I am no good at ma making decisions Quickly. quickly, 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 yeah, quickly. Okay, quickly. thanks. Uh, quickly. Yeah, I'm not good at making decisions quickly, quickly. Okay, uh, thank you guys. Um, Carlita and Marco, Carla Abigail Aguilar. I'm here, teacher. Okay. Okay. I don't know what classes to take this semester. I can decide what I want to do with my life. Have you thought about it, Brenda? Yes, I have. I think I'd make a good journalist because I love writing. Maybe I could be a teacher because I'm very creative and I like working with kids. Oh, I want, want to be a teacher. I'm too impatient. I know one thing I could never do. What's that? I could never be a stockbroker because I am not good at making decisions quickly. Okay, thanks a lot, Marco. And Salita, Rene, Giovanni, and Saul. Giovanni, you hear? Giovanni? Okay, so we got Saul, and I don't know if Giovanni is here. Giovanni? Okay, maybe. Uh, Claudia, could you help us, please, Claudia? Okay. Then, teacher. With Saul. Okay. Oh, yeah, you can be team, yep. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. I, mm -hmm. I no problem. Oh, okay. I don't know what classes to make this semester. I can decide what I want to do with my life. Have you talk about it, Brenda? Yes, I have. I think I'd make a good journal because I love writing. <clears throat> Maybe I could be a teacher because I'm very great and I like working with kids. Oh, I wouldn't want to be a teacher. I'm too impatient. Impatient, impatient, impatient. Impatient. I know one thing I could never do. What's that? I couldn't never be a stockbroker because I'm not good at making decisions quickly. Okay, thanks a lot, guys. Good job. So now we'll continue with our next point, which is talking about our next 
grammar point this is um, related with our lesson objective 5.11 by the end of this session you learn and understand classes with because so we're gonna be checking that um i don't know if that is working if not we're gonna use something else let's see can you see the video yep yes okay yeah. perfect so it lasts just 35 seconds so pay close attention to that Ready to listen to the explanation of the use of Hi, are you ready to introduce a cause or a reason? Stay with us and see how the word because is used. Clauses with because. The word because introduces a cause or reason. I'd make a good journalist because I'm good at writing. I could be a teacher because I'm very creative. I wouldn't want to be a teacher because I'm very impatient. I could never be a stockbroker because I can't make decisions quickly. Ready to listen to the explanation of the use of because? Because it's a conjunction that can connect two independent clauses in one sentence. Let's point out that the clause starting with because can come either before or after the main clause. It is okay to say, because I'm good at writing, I would make a good journalist, or I'd make a good journalist because I'm good at writing. Now pay attention on the use of a comma in the first example. No comma is used, however, when because is in the middle of a sentence. Don't forget, the word because answers the question why. Follow the example so you may work on your own. I couldn't be a singer because I have a funny voice. I would be a good teacher because I'm patient. Now tell us why or why not you would or could be a good president, an actor or an actress. Why or why not you would or could be a good president, an actor or an actress. Please share your responses on our discussion box. Actress, please share I can hear. Okay, thanks. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> okay, that was embarrassing. <laughs> okay. Tell us why, guys, you would or you could be a good president, actor, or an actress. And remember that we're going to use this because in order to uh, express the reason why something could or would uh, happen. For example, um, I make a good journalist. 
I would make a good journalist because I'm good at writing. I could be a teacher because I'm very creative. I wouldn't want to be a teacher because I'm very impatient. So I could, I could never be a stockbroker because I can make decisions quickly. So tell me, guys, uh, the first one, why you could be a good president? I could be a good president because, let's see, come up with your ideas. Think about it. Think about it. Why, guys, you would or could be a good president? Or maybe, so why would you like to be a, uh, be a president? Uh, maybe it would like... Oh yeah. Be a president because I like to be. I like. Because, I like the politics. Okay, you like politics. What else? So, so why you could be a good president? So what what makes you different? So what are your skills? So yeah, I, I am very generous. <laughs> oh, okay, you're very generous. So you could be a good president because you are too generous. Uh, Marco, what do you think? Tell me why you could be a good president. Marco, Marco, yeah, tell me. Well, <laughs> so you have never I, thought about it, right? <laughs> I never thought. <laughs> no. Okay. So now it's your opportunity, Marco. Think about it. So you have some boats here. <laughs> oh, that is very interesting because I have never told it then I am not interested in being president. Okay, so maybe another occupation. So which occupation? Sound, you said sound? Yeah, sound technician. Okay. Yes, sound a technician. technician. Okay, so okay. why Will you be a good technician or why you could be a good technician? I don't know. Yeah. Well, because I I love uh, okay, well first I love music and I have this wish to try to for example the band or the sounds uh, that the people listen to has a good quality. Okay. So uh, I think I can do a good job and and I can find a balance between all the elements the band and try that the band uh, sounds great. Mm, okay. Interesting, Marco. Yeah, I think, I think so too, yeah. If you know that, because I don't know about anything about it. So yeah, but that could, yeah, that could be possible. Let's see, anybody else? Claudia, Claudia, tell me, Claudia, why uh, you could be a good uh, president and not actress or something else? Claudia, mm -hmm. what do you want to be? So would you like to have another occupation? Our profession. Mm, okay, so how about president? So tell me why you could be a good president. Because I'm Oh, okay. Because I am strict. Okay, because you're strict. Okay. How about, let me see, Esmeralda or Carlita, tell me, ladies. Carla Abigail, 
So what do you think, Carlita? So why you could be a good president? Hello, Carlita, Isabo, Isabo, uh, Irma, Irma, we haven't asked you, Irma. I could, uh, I could be a good president because I am good taking decision when it's necessary. Oh, okay. So you're good at making decisions. Okay. So you're good at making decisions. Taking. Or taking some decisions, okay? Okay, thanks. Uh, guys, I'm going to show you some more examples. So you can see that in context. So, okay, look at this. Let me share it again. Okay, just give me a couple of seconds. Okay, here. So since we have been talking about uh, jobs, we're gonna be relating that. And look at this, quality for jobs. Uh, gregarious means sociable, level-headed, calm in, in difficult situations, assertive, which is confident. Can you see that presentation? Yep. Back again, here. So the quality for jobs. So we have some uh, description, some adjectives. Gregarious, sociable, level-headed. We talk about that at the beginning, calm in difficult situations. Assertive, which is confident. Resilient, be able to get over problems. Uh, sensitive, have appreciation of the feelings of others. Resourceful, that's creative. Tactful. Can you read that, please, Marco? Tactful. What is tactful? Cool. Be careful not to say anything that upset or embarrass others. Okay. The next one, please. Sympathetic. Sympathetic help people out personal problems. Okay, help us, please. Continue. Okay. Oh, sensitive. Be able to judge things well, showing common sense. Okay. And we have persuasive, persuasive to get other people to agree with you. Dependable, be reliable to other people. And a bit, which is optimist, right? Okay, so now you have some adjectives, and we mentioned some others before. So let's see. For example, let's see. So could you help us with that example? What? Excuse me? Yeah, can you read the example? Oh, okay. I would like to be a true guide because I am good at speaking with people. Okay, so which could be any other reason to become a tour guide? So which could be one of your reasons? Well, because I am very organized. Okay, I could be a tour guide because... I'm very yeah. organized. Okay, nice. Let's see, I'm gonna show you some more. Some more, look at this. Oh, Mar uh, Claudia, Claudia, please. Read the example. Ready, no, read it, please. Uh. I would make a good liar because I am very persuasive. 
persuasive, persuasive. Okay, so I would make a good lawyer because I'm very persuasive. Okay, so why you could be a good lawyer? Let's see, let's ask Marco. He's uh, starting to become a lawyer. <laughs> Marco. Uh, yes, yes. Uh huh. Tell me, tell me, why um, could you be a good lawyer? Well, I think I am very patient with people. I have a good capacity to analyze things and the different laws. Mm, okay. And I think I can give good solutions to people's problems. Okay, interesting. So that's good. So that's how a lawyer sells himself <laughs> okay so look at this anybody else isabo what do you think isabo about this one can you read that please isabo um i will be a good fly attendant because i'm very communicative okay attendant um very communicative 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 mm. isabo would you like to be a flight attendant do you think that you could no. be no, uh, I don't like it. You don't like that? Okay. So no. uh, let me see. Um, How about you, Esmeralda? Do you like to, do you like this job, flight attendant, Esmeralda? Esmeralda, would you like to be one? You can activate your microphone, Esmeralda. Okay, or somebody else who wants to be a fly attendant or who would like to be a fly attendant? Carlita? Nobody, okay. Nobody likes that. Carlita, how about you, Carlita, no? Okay, so we continue with the next one. Let's see. Um, Help us with this one, Saul. I wouldn't be a good doctor because I can stand the sight of blood. Blood, okay. So guys, do you think that you could be a good doctor or not? Explain why. Anybody? In my case, I think I wouldn't be a good doctor. I wouldn't be a good doctor because um give me some ideas i wouldn't be a good doctor because i don't like watch the flow mm -hmm. i don't like working i am, I am very uh-huh claudia irma I don't teacher. Mm. Okay, I wouldn't be a good doctor. No sería buena doctora. ¿Por qué? So I wouldn't be a good doctor because... Give me a reason, Claudia. Why not? For example, because I'm working with blood, because I... I am impatient, for example. Much is rebellion. Okay. Uh, Saul, do you have another idea? Yeah. I, because I don't like working with... Scissors, I don't think that's oh, a, scissors. A, a skill, a skill mm. the doctors use. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, but sergeants use scissors or things like that, tools like that, tools to operate, right? Um, yeah. mm -hmm. Marco, how about you, Marco? What do you think? So do you think that you Sorry, would be... Yeah. Oh, Sorry, yeah. is something. Saul? Do you want to add something else? 
No. Okay, Marco, tell us, Marco. So yes. do you think that you could be a good doctor or you wouldn't be a good doctor? No, I wouldn't be a good doctor because I can't work for so many hours. Oh, yeah, so, so many can't. hours. So how much, how many hours do you work or what is the limit around, that you have? Around, let me see, maybe seven or eight hours. Seven or eight, yeah, that's the standard, right? Seven or eight hours, yeah. I agree with you. <laughs> yeah, that's not good. <laughs> when you take like extra hours and well you don't rest right so that's not really good and doctors have to work a lot right so they have to work um at night so they have a stressful life i think <laughs> let's see um for uh juan carlos maravilla what do you think juan carlos so do you think that you would be a good doctor or not because I'm not good with uh, blood, I mm -hmm. get nervous. You get nervous when you see blood? Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Okay. Irma, how about you, Irma? I don't know if I ask you, Irma. I wouldn't be a good doctor because I like to sleep. <laughs> okay, yeah. Yeah, that's important. Isabo, how about you, Isabo? Isabo, what do you think, Isabo? Do you think that you would be a good doctor or you wouldn't be a good doctor? Um I Uh, a doctor. I study medicine, oh. but I wouldn't don't sleep and don't eating food. Okay, so you're starting to become a doctor. Uh, so I would be a good doctor. No alcanza a escuchar una parte porque hubo ahí como una interferencia. So I would be a good doctor because, o oh, Isao se puede repetir lo que nos estaba diciendo. Um, yeah, I, I want to listen to you. I would be a good doctor because. Eh, Ok, um, se escucha cortado, Isao, pero si nos dejas ahí un texto, so type your answer through the chat, ahí a través del chat, Isao, porque se escuchaba cortado, um, and then I can read it, ok. Ok, let's see, uh, we have some more, let me see, ok, so how about being a chef? Guys, I could never be a good chef because I'm clumsy type when it comes to preparing food. Yeah, and I agree with that idea. <laughs> okay, so I think that I could never <laughs> be a good chef. Chef, um, because uh, I don't have time to cook or to learn. Well, I have some time, but... I'm not really in I'm not really into cooking. How about you, Saul? What do you think? So could you be a good chef or not? I would be yes, a good I chef. Be. Yeah, I would be a good chef because I love the, you love I love make uh I love make um, sauces and something like that. Mm, like okay. About food. So you think you could be a good chef? Yeah. Okay. How about you, Claudia? What's clumsy? What's clumsy? 
What's clumsy? Torpe. Okay. So what do you think, Claudia? So could you be a good shop or not? Yes, teacher, I am good at good at um, cooking. Chef. Oh, okay. So, are you a chef? In, in my house. <laughs> ah, okay, for your family. So they have a chef at home. Okay. So, do you like cooking a lot? No. No. Mm, okay. Mm, let me see. Marco? You, Marco? Well, I think... Um, maybe I would be a good chef. Yeah. Because I like uh -huh. eating. You so like I... eating? <laughs> eating, yes. Oh, I could be a good chef. Uh, well, there are some things I like when uh, when it comes to cook. Maybe it's when we cook, uh, we grill meat. Yeah. When it comes to that, yeah, I love that. And there are some things I like, but um, not many. <laughs> there are some difficult dishes <laughs> I can prepare them. <laughs> Yeah, uh, let me see. How about you, Irma? Irma, how about you? What do you think, Irma? I could never be a good chef because I don't follow the recipe. Recipe. Okay. Recipe. Okay. Yeah, let's see. Um, last but not least, maybe um, Isabo, Isabo, yeah, Isabo. Tell me, Isabo, what do you think? Oh, okay. So we have one more opinion. Uh, from um. Oh yeah, I. I couldn't. You can't cook. You can't. Uh, I, I, I never. Uh, uh, so um, you, you never cook. I couldn't uh, prepare food because I, I, I never cook. Uh, because I cut my my finger. Mm, okay. And the food is not delicious. Okay. Okay. So you could never be a good chef because. So I could never. Is how I could never. Nunca podría. I mean, so that's I could never. Nunca podría ser un buen chef. Or I would never be. O nunca sería. So I would never, never be. A good chef, because if I could, the food won't be delicious. Yeah, with blood, right? <laughs> okay, okay, thanks, ladies and boys. Okay, listen up. I'm gonna pass the attendance list, please. Say present and one last question, guys. Do you complete the platform, the, your final exam? Completaron su examen final? Yes, teacher. Yes. Yes. Todos. Yes. Voy a checar aquí um, para avisarle si hay alguien que le hace falta. Y puedan ponerse al día. Vamos. Esmeralda Isabel. Está por acá, Esmeralda. Ok, voy pasando a lista. Um, say present and then um, I'm going to tell you if you're uh, missing something. Let's see. Carlos Alberto Martínez Alvarado. Thanks, Carlos. We're okay. Claudia Maria Garcia. Present teacher. Thanks. Esmeralda Isabel Martinez Orellana. 
Irma Jacqueline Manzano de Rivas. Present teacher. Thanks. Isabu Elizabeth Torres Amaya. Present teacher. Thanks. Jacqueline Elizabeth Guevara Centeno. Jacqueline Rebeca Cermeño López. Okay. Jennifer Raquel Ayala Vázquez. Juan Carlos Cubías Bonilla. Juan Carlos Maravilla Méndez. I'm here, teacher, present. Okay. Carla Abigail Aguilar Rodríguez. Present, teacher. Thanks, Carlita. Luis Fernando Linares Sierra. Present. Thanks, Luis. Marco Antonio Quijano Eguizábal. Present. Thanks. Raúl Antonio Pérez Escobar. Ok, Raúl Antonio. René Giovanni Martínez Aguilar. Ruth María Lozamaya de Guardado. Saúl Alexander. Este teacher. Dígame. Teacher, Ruth eh, tuvo un accidente ayer y mm. por eso no se conectó ayer y ahora clase. Me dijo que le dijera. Ok, bien, lo voy a poner. Mariel, guarda. Lo voy a poner acá en el, en el reporte para que, um, bueno, si se puede hacer algo, puedan apoyarle. Pero, ¿está bien ella? Sí, parece, se cayó de una escalera. Pero, sí dice que está bien, solo no se quebró, solo está golpeada. Ok. Gracias a él. Vamos a poner aquí el comentario. Sí. Saúl Alexander Lozano Calderón. Present. Thanks, Saúl. Ok, todo lo que hemos mencionado, estamos bien, así que no hay ningún problema. Stephanie Yamilet Pérez Romero. Ok, well, that's all, guys, for today's class. Uh, this is our last class. Thanks a lot, guys, for connecting all the time. So I hope you have a great time in your next module. And if you have any question, please uh, feel free to ask. You have my WhatsApp, so you can uh, send a message anytime. Okay, bye-bye, guys. Bye-bye. Gracias, teacher. Bye-bye, Bye-bye, bye -bye, guys. Take care. Bye. -bye. Is there one is the last class? Oh, today. Today it was our last class. So I think you... Uh -huh. So they are going to let you know when you're going to start your next module. So please uh, be sure. Uh, I don't know if you send the documents. Yeah. Did you? Did you send the documents? with your information in order to, to continue with the next yes. module? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes, okay, Carlos. Okay. Um, ahí solamente esperen que, que se comuniquen nuevamente con ustedes y uh, yo creería que sería pronto. Si enviaran toda la documentación como era debido, pues sí, pronto van a estar recibiendo la notificación para seguir con el siguiente módulo. Por el momento todavía tenemos que esperar unos días, según lo he entendido. Saúl, um, I don't know if you have a question. Yeah, I have a question about the link you sent or do you remember? Um, if, if, 
if it the is still in your in the chat or I can move it for for my my achievement. Oh, it's still there, I guess. I don't know. Mm. Yes, it's still there. Uh, but if you left, because it's, it's going to be the last class today, and I don't know if you're going to keep it with the with the WhatsApp chat. Mm, yeah, you, you can, yeah. You'll... Yeah. Yeah, you can ask me if you need the link again or any other link. Um, I can send it to you. So just leave me a text. Mm -hmm. So one uh, with the thing that you need. For example, if you need to know about something in particular, let me leave me a text and I, I'll send you something. Thank you, teacher. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And I think that Fine. you were asking last time about um, something for writing, right? Yeah, about well, writing. Mm -hmm. So I'm still looking for something, okay? So I'll try to okay. send it to you. Okay, thanks, Saul. Thank you very much, teacher. I appreciate so much. Okay, so well, thanks a lot. Too. For, uh, yeah. for me. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. It was a pleasure. No problem. Thanks a lot. Thank you, Take me. care, guys. Carlos and so bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye.